I'm here at the CFC Parkour Park and uh, I've literally got the whole place to myself. Um, it's gonna be my first time ever training at this place alone, but I'm used to solo training in general. It's what I prefer to be honest. So I'm kind of excited to see what I can do now that I'm at this place all by myself, just see if I can come up with some little challenges and stuff and obviously get some sick lines for Instagram and whatnot. So uh, ah, the thought that I had in the back of my mind when coming here was just making a video about like, why we need parkour parks or places to practice parkour because as you know this freaking culture and style of movement that we do is not really seen as something that's normal to people or it's just seen as very outlandish reckless foolish so the reason we need places like this is so that in essence we'll be able to practice what we want to do in a safe manner have the community gather in a place where we won't be vilified by everybody else uh, vilified by society I suppose you could say because the second they see someone doing a flip or moving around walls in a sketchy way they just assume they're up to trouble it's just that type of stuff goes into the back of people's minds when they're trying to film film when they're trying to train and people see you out in the open like right now in that little building over there with the black fence or black whatever it is people keep coming out and staring at what I'm doing and it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable but I've kind of gotten used to it because with solo training you get over that stuff relatively easily you get used to it very quickly and it's just a matter of like training in a place where you feel comfortable to progress your style so that when you do go out into places like a city or a town or a university campus or something and train there you're able to just take whatever it is you learn from a safe environment and place it into a place where you're actually putting yourself into a precarious situation where what you're doing might actually be beneficial to building your style um the way you move and confidence in general i don't want to bug him he's just he's just doing his chicken and toast. Ugh, oh my fucking heels Ow. <laughs> parkour is already such a tiny basically unknown culture that's like maybe known by a few people as oh the guys jumping on rooftops in movies or guys doing crazy stunts uh, in, in freaking action kung fu movies and stuff like that so we need places like this so that it becomes a bit more apparent to the general public that what we're doing isn't that outlandish you're just using the biometrics of your physical makeup to move and maneuver environments in a cool way so basically you're here you jump there you flip there you spin there you do this but at the same time you're also like navigating an environment being mindful of your surroundings not hurting your feet protecting yourself from impact um controlling the way you fall uh there's a lot of variables and and and, and aspects that go into what we do yeah man we just need stuff like this to be more well known so first of all brands and companies can get involved and support us doing this nonsense and potentially help us build careers on teaching people this stuff talking about this stuff like I'm trying to do with my videos uh, we just be freaking rad to be able to build our culture and then also share what we know and our experiences with the average person so that they can build confidence get stronger try something new for one and uh, conquer some very weird unconscious fears it's cool you should try it